125 to go in the second quarter. Guevara, top of the key, passes to Bondare at the left. Bondare back to Guevara. Steph goes inside from Muldowney, back out to Walker. Walker driving baseline, right side, dishes off to Muldowney, now to Bondare, left side, puts it up for three, and she's got it! How about that? Number five for Dover Bondare! 30 to 27, North Brunswick, one minute to go in the second. That clip you hear was from February 24th of 2012, 10 years ago, when the Lady Raiders took on Bishop Barr in the GMC tournament semifinals over in South Brunswick. The Lady Raiders would go on to win that game and beat the Lady Trojans 53-51 to to get to the GMC championship game at the Rutgers Athletic Center. And, you know, my guest, my special guest here at halftime sitting to my left, she is number four all-time in Lady Raiders history with 1,089 career points. Her name is on the banner over here on our right. She is number 24 in your Lady Raiders program, class of 2012. Derva Bondari is here. Um, so you so you made it. Um, I know, listen, Fridays are worse. I find the traffic is worse on Fridays. But I'm glad you made it. Um, you know, it, it's been 10 years. Can you believe that, you know, that 10 years have passed already? Uh I definitely cannot. It kind of feels like it was just yesterday. Um, it still, like, to this day, doesn't feel like I've been at college and now out of college for five years. So it's definitely a big change. But coming back here, all the memories are coming back. And definitely hearing that clip when we played Bishop R, that's definitely memories coming back to me again. Um, but overall, that game, I know, like, Bishop R has been one of our biggest competitors when we were there and South Brunswick as well. So that d game was definitely a big thing, like beating them in the semifinals to then make it to the finals that year. Speaking of South Brunswick, you know, that's when you, you scored your 1,000 point against South Brunswick uh, here at home uh, yeah. February 11th. And uh, it was late in the game to, 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 to tie the game, and then you guys went on to win. Yeah. Uh, you were probably so wrapped up in the game you never thought about it, I guess. Yeah, so definitely during that game, like, again, like Bishop R. South Brunswick was, again, one of our biggest competitors that we had. So I think going to that game, I definitely knew I was close to the thing, but in the heat of the moment, especially the game being so close the whole whole time, like, that's not something you really thought about. It was just, how, what are we doing to actually beat them and just going forward from there. When... When the season was over, and you know, did you have a chance to kind of sit down and think about, you know, I'm one of only four people, you know, to to achieve something like that? Did you think about that? Um, I don't think it hit me like that year. I think more once I graduated and I think going back and then like finally seeing the banner when I come back for my brother's game. I think that's when it finally started hitting me. I think in the moment it was just, what were we doing to win, like, just kind of going through that uh, but then I think definitely coming back and now like even now 10 years later coming back and still seeing my name up there it's definitely a great feeling you're talking about the Derva the older sister of primetime Prene Bandari who played here um, you know it, when you you know think about do you realize you know, that it's been 10 years and no one has done it uh, since then does that you know make people realize how difficult it is to achieve something like that um, I think it's it's definitely a big thing. I think in the moment you don't realize it, but I think now like seeing a whole 10 years later, seeing someone right on the verge of beating that, I think that's a great thing. And definitely this game, she's been playing really well. It's like, it's definitely a treat seeing her out here. Speaking of Naoma Cargo, what do you, what do you like about, I know you've only you know, seen her for a couple of quarters here, but yeah. what, what do you like about her game? Um, I definitely love her hustle, like just her like work ethic and her hustle has been amazing. You could tell she's like very driven and just the way she's been playing has been a treat to watch. Niall was 16 points so far here in the first half, so that puts her at 28 points away. She's at 972 now, so that puts her at 28 points away from 1,000. Again, talking with Derva Bondari, uh, you know, the, the, the last living legend of, of North Brunswick girls basketball to score 1,000 points. Um, you know, when you, uh, you know, when you, uh, I, you know, and I've seen you on, yeah, I see you on Facebook, you're taking pictures on the court with Steph Curry, I see you out there, you know, <laughs> so, so you're still involved in the sport, you know, in some way, you know, so yeah. kind of, um, you know, 
what have, have you done anything basketball wise? I know you went to college at MIT. Yeah. Um, do you have you done anything basketball wise in the last ten years? So I played for MIT um, for my first two years, um, and then after that, there were things I wanted to do abroad, so I kind of took a break from that. Uh, but I think since then I've been playing pickup basketball a lot. Um, I go to the LA Fitnesses here. Um, I've also joined a co-ed league, and I'm trying to get into coaching now. Okay, all um, right, in so the coaching. I've been, yeah. Now I know you. You're telling me you're you're in physical therapy, which makes two of us. We're both in physical. Yeah. Therapy. Only I'm a much older than you. Yeah. You know, I was 40 years old when you played here. Now yeah. I'm 50, but you're much younger than yeah. that still. I. Uh, I actually just had a like a bad knee injury playing pickup basketball oh, a couple really? months ago. Oh. So I've just been recovering from that. So the physical therapy has been helping that. Still trying to do those uh, trying to do those <laughs> reverse layups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Derba, you know, as far as um, you know, you you know, were went under the radar there. Did, that didn't you know? Did that bother you at all? You just felt like, hey, you know. I just want to play my game. Yeah, I think that definitely what you said. Like, I just wanted to play my game. And, like, for me, like, academics was always the main thing for me. Um, so, like, MIT was always my first choice. Uh, so that was definitely my goal. But basketball is also one of my biggest passions, and it still is. Um, so just trying to find the balance between those two. Now, aside from the Bishop R game, right, and the South Brunswick game at the Rack, did you ever have any, you know, big crowds like this for a game uh, that's what I was actually just thinking when I walked in I know <laughs> I know most of our games did not have as many people as I see now so it's definitely nice seeing as much attention that the women's team is getting so I think that's definitely good but I know for our games like I don't it was always nice to see my parents and my brother <laughs> yes in the stands I think I still have a couple pictures that were in the paper where you kind of see them in the background. Taylor Dirkak, the sophomore, comes to the will go to the line and shoot two. Does she remind you of Liz Charlotte at all? <laughs> That's another thing I was just uh, looking at while I was watching the game earlier. Uh -huh. But I think definitely the height and the way she plays, I'm seeing a lot of Liz Charlotte again. Liz Charlotte from Bishop Bar, you know, mostly in high school, usually nine times out of ten, you don't know the person's name, you just know the number, but you guys remember Liz Charlotte, I'm yeah. sure. Listen, I've talked to Terriana Kelly. I've talked to Jasmine Walker. You can admit it. You guys didn't like Liz Charlotte very much. <laughs> no, we no? didn't. <laughs> definitely not play. She was definitely a nice person, but playing against her was not one of our favorite things. <laughs> <laughs> All in unison there. So you said you weren't, you know, trying to get into coaching. Uh, are you talking about like the the younger levels or more towards high school? What do you mean? Um, I'm still kind of deciding it kind of like my injury and as I was trying to get into things kind of happened at the same time but I think overall like middle school high school level or like early high school that's what I'm trying to aim for, for now okay. just like trying to find a way to still stay with the game okay all right you know I know you were, it wasn't really much you know, to, you know you didn't really think much about getting the thousand but did you at least want to do it at home yeah that that was like another thing I was going to say. I think the feeling of doing it at home and against South Brunswick, I think the combination of those two was so like, like an amazing feeling. Like I had some of my friends here, my family, my teachers. Um, so it was definitely an amazing feeling having that at home. It's like the perfect meal. You yeah. Know? <laughs> <laughs> and then on top of that beating, because um, I know Jasmine hit the game winner that game as well. So I think that combo of like, winning that game and like just the excitement was great you're you're of indian descent there weren't a lot of of you know indian born players playing basketball at the time what made you play um i think growing up like my parents put me in everything basically so different sports arts music and then it was just kind of up to me to see what i liked and enjoyed and basketball just the pace of everything and the camaraderie that you kind of get with this sport. I think that's what made me kind of stick to this um, and then kind of continue pursuing that as I grew up. Um, so again, like you mentioned, I know when um, I was here, you wouldn't see that many Indian, like you'd see more Indian guys, but definitely not that many Indian girls play. Has your perspective on basketball changed in the last 10 years? Maybe you felt one way 10 years ago. As Goncalves misses the first, maybe you felt one way 10 years ago and you feel differently now. Has anything changed for you perspective-wise? 
no, I think everything's pretty much the same. Like, I think from my point of view, like, I just love playing the game, watching it. Um, so nothing's really changed much. I, it just feels different, like, I think being on this court and then being in the bleachers this time instead of actually being on I, the court itself. So I guess from that way, it's a little yeah, you like before. Yeah, like before, you had free reign. You could probably go wherever you wanted. Yeah. And now you got to go through security. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. I, I understand. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> Well, Miss Delva, you know, uh, always a pleasure to, to catch up with you. And, uh, you know, I only have a minute or so to say this, but you guys uh, you know, really, you know, got things started with this. Uh, you guys put, you know, me on the map. I don't think it was the other way around. You guys helped me a lot more than I could help you. Um, and going to the rack was a great, you know, I got to sit courtside at the rack and watch you guys play. And I'll always be indebted to you and Jasmine and Tariana and the rest of the team. And uh, so I want to thank you. Uh, for everything that you guys did and letting me follow along, you know, back then I was doing home and away games. Uh, now I'm pretty much confined to here. I'll be I'll be JFK on Thursday too, but okay. but uh but um I just wanted to thank you guys for everything that you guys did for for me. Um and uh, I'll never forget. And so you guys will always be special to me because of that. And uh you know, so I always wish you guys the best of success in whatever you do. And uh, so I'm sure I'll see you Thursday. Yeah. You definitely. know, and I might even I might even have you come back Thursday. You know, the, um, we'll talk more about you know going to the rack and Bishop R and all of that. Okay. Um, but but thank you, Miss Derva. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Corbett. It was really nice catching up with you. Uh, and thank you for everything since my high school days. Uh, no 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 problem no problem.